I think cyber tends to kind of forget about the fact that you've got a sensor or a CCTV camera on a wall because people think, well, as long as I've got EDR main points, I'm fine, right? But I'm in an environment where you've got all these connected devices. What What's that risk really? Is, is, a, a, is, it, is it a risk if you don't have any IoT security um, in an environment? Um, is that a real risk or is that just the industry trying to you know, generate generate revenue? That's a massive risk because of the number of devices we're talking about and the number of devices that are under maintained. Uh, like I said earlier in the discussion is some people refer to the smart devices, but in actual fact, there are really dumb devices mm-hmm. doing a specific task. So you've got that that risk. Um, now, legacy sites, legacy environments would air gap those networks to, to try to secure them. But in actual fact, over the years, what was once thought as an air gap network, you walk into that site and somebody's run an Ethernet cable from that switch into the firewall, and actually, guess what? It's got its own access, and it's plugged into the rest yeah. of the network. Um, and no one knew about that cable. So cybersecurity wouldn't be protecting it, because as far as the cyber team, as far as even the IT team, that network sat there, air gap, never connected to anything. If someone ever got into there, they've got hundreds of devices that they now, lacking firmware updates, massive vulnerabilities. Yeah. Yeah. And those, ne- those devices are on your network have just an additional mm-hmm. Point to get into something else, but what is the what is the threat? I mean, a bad actor gets into your your OT network and you know uh, takes control out of what well, I mean. I know the threats takes control of your CCTV and things like that. So or I mean, what's the threat to that organisation? Threat in, 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 in sort of let's say two different aspects. If we look more at the IoT side of things, a connected device comes into the network, it's now got access, or potentially could get access to your data that's in your network, okay. or because it's on the network. Because right? it's on the yes. network. Yeah. So you've got that that threat. If we look to the OT and the building, the let's call it critical infrastructure side of things, if you get a CCTV camera that's being compromised, they can now either turn it on, turn it off. They can now get access to your CCTV footage. Sure. They can delete footage. They can. Like, manipulate the footage, yeah, especially yeah. now with AI and deep fakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, all of a sudden, your CCTV system yeah. is actually null and void. And why is it there? Because if it's not secure anymore, your data integrity, et cetera, is not there. In terms of power management, building management, they can turn air cons off, turn mm-hmm. air cons on. They can access the data. They can see what's failing, what's not failing. Uh, power, they could turn the power off to the entire site, depending on what that, that system's being used for, what it's being relied on. It's, it's, it's a and I suppose being a critical network, um, the fact that it's critical means it's running critical services which are impacting thousands of yeah. people. So therefore, the threat is real, right? It is, yeah. because as what Martin just mentioned, these devices are dummy devices. So they don't invest in the firmware or software which is installed on these devices. They have weak authentication, which means that they can gain access to the network anytime. That's why... From 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 a company from a customer perspective, there is nothing I can do. I can even if I put the software update, how update that software can be? Does it actually contain the security features which will yeah. help me mitigate yeah. those? Yeah. So the most of the burden lies on me as a customer. I need to deploy or implement or make sure that the basic security requirements is in place: network segmentation, firewalls, authentication solution. I need to put my authentication solution on those dummy devices as well in order to make sure that no one can actually access them, maybe encrypt the data. Which of those devices are connected to on the network? Which of those devices are connected to? So there is not those challenges yeah. actually like that. In my eyes, it should be locked together. If, it, if it's on the network, it should be treated as an IT on the network, um, at least to your basic or at least your hygiene perspective. Has that network been seg- segmented? Have you got the perimeter controls on that network? Because if we take it back a step, the challenge to the business implementing the OT network is they want the OT network to be there and control whatever it's controlling. But they want access to that data to hopefully, I don't know, use less power. So at what point can they set the aircon to 20 degrees instead of 25 degrees to save X number of on the power, right? But the only way to get that data is for it to be connected to a network yeah. that they can access. Yeah. The IT providers aren't security people, and they're going, yeah, throw this Ethernet cable in there, you've got access. It's the IT security that needs to make sure that that's locked down, that that access can only come from a certain place. So 
your zero trust, your um, identity management, mm -hmm. like, yeah. like Ahmed said, is, is crucial to getting onto those networks. You've got to have specific OT security for, let's say, maybe the next step of critical infrastructure, nuclear power stations, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But if we're securing the network, mm -hmm. only allowing traffic, so making it as air gapped as we can, yes. while allowing the traffic we know and want to have, that's giving the, the, the best of. Yeah. And that's a good, uh, good point you mentioned in terms of uh, the question obviously should be segmented. Let's keep going back to the fact that technology is there to help support some business function. Yeah. That's the purpose of SPCTV. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, so you must treat that as a constituent part of your entire approach. Because when you think about um, compliance or risk assessment, if you don't know what's in your environment, no, you can't. If you don't know what risk levels are, you cannot protect. You don't know. You can be like said very easily. Yeah. So that's a good point that you need to have an understanding of what shell of IT, what role do I have yeah, there. Absolutely. And if IT is involved in the in the whole design and the whole implementation, you're not going to have cheap network devices that don't support segmentation. You're not mm -hmm. going to have cheap network devices that don't support security. Because at the end of the day, these devices connect to a network. The IT vendors throw in cheap. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and Getting IT involved early on means that the network will at least be at a better standard. Yeah, standard. yeah. But, but that's but, but that's a challenge. You know, yeah, we're involved with a lot of um, infrastructure builds. You know, part of construction phases, mm -hmm. and you try and have a cyber conversation with a with a with a major construction partner who's there to build. Whether it's a data center, whether it's a you know whether it's a huge kind of you know high rise building, yeah. they just don't want to have that cyber chat. Because it requires additional investment. All they want to do is build yeah, the network. Build, enough, yeah. build you know, and we go in and we install new design and we bang the drummer on cyber, but it, it kind of falls on deaf ears, right? So um so yeah, it's a big challenge for us. Yeah, but I was just gonna say that I think there's conversations now that people don't think they need to involve IT in. Mm -hmm. They're buying heating systems. You know, when would IT ever be involved in heating a building? It wasn't, but now they want smart heating that turns on and off and can control it from an interface and it's got sensors everywhere. So it's connecting to a network. But generally, the people that would buy that system before, it sold all of the advantages of what it can do and how it saves them money, but aren't being told, speak to your IT company, yeah. Yeah. make sure yeah. Yeah, this is secure, because they probably know, as before mentioned, the devices they're actually putting in to connect to the network are actually quite cheap, quite cheerful. Yeah. You know, they 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 are a risk. They're yeah. not going to get firmware updates as often as we're doing the firewalls and, yeah, and, and, the, back, exactly. and the endpoints. They, they haven't got an AV or endpoint security product running on them. It's just a device connects to a network, yeah. sends data. It's yeah. simple. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of conversations that we are getting involved in now that previously we probably wouldn't have yeah. been included in. Yeah.